At this time, we are not aware of anyone else being involved in the planning of this attack, but the investigation continues. It appears that Artan may have at least been inspired by Anwar al and the Islamic State in the Levant, and we will continue to pursue this as part of this investigation. That is one thing we are really trying to work on, is the motive uh, and when he came up with that plan. That's why we are asking anybody's assistance uh, that may know any of his whereabouts that morning. And there's really no determination as to why why Ohio State, why that particular building, why that street. So that's all, all the information that we're trying to, to uh, decipher from, from any electronic signatures that he's left behind. We do know that he purchased a knife uh, that morning um, at a Walmart on the west side of Columbus, but what we don't know is if that purchase was the knife that was used in the attack. And what I'd like to remind everyone is that this can happen in New York City, it can happen in Columbus, Ohio, or it could happen to any small town in the United States. So what we're asking again is if you see something that's unusual, let us know about it. Call the FBI, call the Columbus police, and we can follow up on that. And, and that's one more step that we can use to maybe prevent one of these attacks in the future.